another Sabbath day's journey. Amen. Let us pray. All wise and almighty God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Thou who sit high and you look low yes, yes. into the hearts and minds of men and women. Yes, yes. We come this morning on the pleading terms of mercy. Yes, Lord. Wasn't by our goodness nor by our righteousness that we are standing no. in this house of prayer once more and again. Yes. On a Sabbath day morning. Yes, God. Thank you. You watched over us yes. from last Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yes, Wednesday, God. Thursday, Friday. Yes, God. Saturday and early this morning. Yes. You touched each of us with your finger of love and our eyes came open. Yes, God. To behold this blessed day. We thank you for the activities of our limbs. Thank you, God. We thank you for our eyesight and yeah. our, the strength of our bodies. We thank, thank you Lord. for blessing us with the necessities of life. Yes, God. Food and shelter yes, and clothing. Yes, Lord. Thank you. you have been better to us than we've been unto ourselves. Yes, yes God. We call on you because you are a doctor. Yes, God. Who have never lost the case. Yes, Look upon Pastor McGee this morning. Oh, no, 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 no. You are a healer. Yes, God. You're able, God. We call on you in the name of Jesus. Yes, We've called on you in time past. Yes, God. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, you heard our prayer yes, for those who had cancer. Yes. Oh, yes, you did. Yes. You, you are a doctor. You are a healer. Yes, yes you are, God. Oh, my Lord, yes, my Lord. Doctors have given some up, but we called on you. Yes, yes. God. You heard our and answered our prayers. Yes, you the same God. yesterday, yes. today, and forever. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Look upon Sister Cindy this morning. Have mercy, God. Yes, yes. Have mercy. You know where she is. You know her mind, you know, yes, what she's God. dealing with. Oh, yes, God. Pray that you will rebuke those demonic spirits. Have mercy, God. Our Heavenly Father, we pray for the moderator this morning. Yes, yes God. God. You know the challenges that he's facing. Yes, you know, God. We pray for these names that are on this prayer list. Yes, God. You know each and every case. Yes, yes. God. You know, Lord. You're yes. almighty. Yes, You're all knowing. Yes. You're everywhere at the same time. Yes, God. You own the sea and the air. Yes, we call on you this morning for these names and those who are calling on you by their bedside, yes. Lord. Yes, God. Medicine is not doing any good. They've been calling on you. You are a doctor. You can heal. You can relieve, Lord. Yes. Please to have mercy this morning. Have mercy, God. Look upon this neighborhood. Touch the hearts of those who are just walking by the church. Have mercy, Touch God. Have mercy upon have that young man who, Lord, used profanity. Have mercy, God. Have mercy upon his soul. Have mercy, Lord. And then our Heavenly Father, when this life journey comes to an end, we before we close this prayer, we want to thank you for the church. Yes, God. Thank you for our gathering this morning. Thank you, God. Thank you for the deacons and the choirs and the ushers, the members. We thank you this morning. As we go forward, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. You're most welcome this morning in our hearts and our minds. Rebuke the devil, drive out the unclean spirit. Forgive us of our transgressions. Yes, God. This yes. prayer, we pray once again for these names that are on this prayer list. Yes, God. Have 
You know their condition. You know each and every disease. You know the trouble that they have in minds and hearts. You're a troubleshooter. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Bless every pastor who's standing in John's shoes. In the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. Now, for this matter, you said, Pray ye our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Clap those hands to the glory of our God. Thank you. Do you know Amen. 
what you take out, what you change, you take it out from your, uh, and that's, a, that's not good. You go and change God's word the way you want it to read, and you interpret it. Preach it like it is. Preach in season, out of season. You exhort. Don't change it. Amen. 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 All these new redone Bibles. I'm going to stay exactly with the old King James Version. That's what I was converted on, and it still stands. The Lord says, I, I am the Lord thy God, and I change not. God don't change from generation to generation. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. It's us who change. Amen. That's, I just wanted to throw that in. Amen. I'll say that. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Scott. In obedience to God, double honor to our pastor, to the officers, and to everyone listening. It is a blessing just for me to be able to stand here and say, God is good. Yes. Here we are on this blessed day that we have been announcing and talking about. May the 19th, our first day for our anniversary service. Amen. The Lord has brought us almost another 20 years. In June, it will be officially 20 years that God has brought this pastor and church. Yes. And it has been a faith walk from the beginning all the way Amen. up until now. Amen. What do we do, Grace St. John? We just believe. Yeah. We just believe the Lord. We yeah. believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. So we thank the Lord for today because our special guest will be Pastor Willie C. Estes and the New Strangers Home Missionary Baptist Church. Yeah. This afternoon at 4.30 p.m. will be the first day of our pastor and church anniversary service. Yeah. We are so blessed. And we are going to enjoy the Lord today. It will be a beautiful fellowship. Amen. That's what we're here to do. Amen. Worship and praise Amen. God together. Amen. That is what we are going to do. Amen. Because we have something to celebrate. Yeah. The Lord is good to us. Right. The Lord is beautiful to us. Yeah. God is keeping us right now. There's no way. We would be getting ready to celebrate 20 years if it wasn't for the Lord. Amen. The Lord has kept our pastor, kept us with a pastor all these years. The Lord gave us someone after his own heart. What better blessing could we receive? Churches are looking for a pastor. And there are pastors going here and there, there and here. But Pastor Scott, I got to say, you've been faithful. You've been faithful, Reverend Scott. It's on your record. Through it all, the Lord has kept you. God has used Reverend Scott to be an example to this church. And if you do God's will and stay with him, he'll keep you. Yes, he will. He'll keep you in his will. So this afternoon, be it the Lord's will, 4.30, we will have our first pastor in churches, 20th year anniversary. And then on the next Sunday, May 26, 4 p.m., our special guest would be Pastor Keeper L. McNeil and the L. Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. The following Friday night, May 31st, at 6.30 p.m., that's our night, Grace St. John. That's our night to celebrate 20 years. And then on the Sunday, June 9th, at 4 p.m., our special guest would be Dr. Earl Ward and the Star Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. We pray that God will continue to bless us and be with us. Thank you, and God bless. Amen. Amen. I hear you say 4.30. Will it be 4 o'clock today or 4.30? 4 o'clock, Reverend. I'm sorry. 4 o'clock today. Amen. 4 o'clock today, May 19th. 4 o'clock, May 26th. 4 o'clock, June 9th. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Scott. The pastor on his job. Thank you, and God bless. Amen. In obedience to God, double honor to you, Dr. Scott, to the officers of the church and everyone present here on today, my name is Sister Edwina Smith, and I would like to cordially invite you 
to Vacation Bible School 2024. Amen. Our Vacation Bible School this year will be God's solid rock truth in a world of shifting sands. Amen. And that coincides with what Pastor Scott has been talking to us about being on the old order. So every day Amen. we will have a lesson that will challenge us to discover that God's truth never changes. Amen. Because he never changes. Right. Our vacation Bible school will be held here at 985 53rd Street, June 17th through June 21st, 2024, from 5.45 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. That is Vacation Bible School 2024, God's Solid Rock Truth in a World of Shifting Sands. Please join us for June 17th through June 21st, 2024. Amen. Uh, Sister, 8.45, from 5.45 to 8.45. Thank you, sir. From 5.45 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. Thank Amen. you, sir. Our first selection by the specials, The Road is Rough, yeah. led by Sister Elaine Barfield.
Say that, say that, say it.
tasting of wine. And I don't, so let me just clarify something. We're not wine drinkers here. The Bible says, some say, why, well, didn't it say wine is for a little belly sake? Yeah, but it don't stay in the belly, it goes to the head. The Bible says wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. He that is deceived thereby is not wise. Now, there are other connoisseurs of paintings. You have exhibits where people go and look in connoisseur paintings. There are people who taste cakes. And there are music connoisseurs, furniture, yeah. people connoisseur furniture, jewelry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we can say there are connoisseurs that not only taste candy, but eat it at the same time. Okay. This profession, meaning connoisseur, or connoisseurs, meaning being a connoisseur, is highly regarded as a specialist to investors to either buy or put the product on their market to sell and make a profit from. Let me repeat that right. since some didn't get it. Right. Connoisseurs uh -huh. are hired by those who invest in certain products, yeah. All right. yeah. such as furniture, mm -hmm. or music, uh -huh. or cakes and pies. Uh -huh. They are the ones who say, yes, they are able to sell for so many dollars. Or no, they won't sell as high as this amount of dollars. Or no, it won't sell at all. Connoisseurs are used to uh, make a sale to those who are profiteering on the market. Amen. Do you understand? Yeah. Connoisseurs are like teachers who grade the product right. from the top quality to low quality or no quality at all right. for the investors to put their money into uh, or buy in order to make a profit from by putting it on the market. Right. Case in point, uh, I take certain coins to a coin dealer right. and he says, oh, this is not worth nothing. Oh, he says, oh yes, this is worth so and so, so and so. <laughs> He's the in-between man. Right. Yes. He's called a coin dealer, but he's a connoisseur. Right. Now let me just pause and say uh, consciously are you listening? Amen. And unconsciously every body that's under the sound of my voice Every human being that is blessed with commonly known as their five senses are daily connoisseurs. All right. All right. Have you ever heard uh, 
someone say or maybe you yourself have said that uh, that leaves a bad taste mm -hmm. in my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it does not necessarily mean a food or drink product right. that has left a bad taste in your mouth. Right. Someone can say something that is very derogatory, mm -hmm. maybe not toward you, but toward someone else, and you have heard, overheard it uh -huh. with your hearing, yeah. your ears, and you say, that left a bad taste mm -hmm. in my mouth yeah, right. of what he right. or she said yeah. to that person. Yeah. You ever said that? Or you may eat something and once you bite into it, you spit it out. You begin to say, oh, that's nasty. The question is why? Because your taste buds told you that it was not tasting good. Right. That it right. tasted bad. Yeah. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Right. Right. By your tasting, your taste buds said, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. it gave you a bad taste. Yeah. You can smell something. Yeah. Yeah. You can smell something good or bad. And you can say, oh, that smells terrible or bad. Or, oh, that smells refreshing or good. You're kind of suing what the smell is. All right. Sometimes the bad smell or the good smell get in your taste buds. And you be, oh, that's wrong. Our expressions. Sometimes when our expressions, the way we look, when we drink something, we drink a liquid, we'll let others know by either a frown, lips turned down, or with a cringing face that that's a bad tasting substance. I've seen some who drink alcohol, drink it and they think, I say, why in the world do they drink that? They have all that frown on their face. They have, oh, that still tastes good. Why are you frowning then? Expressions sometimes explain how it tastes. Right, right, right. Yes. Uh, how beautiful your smile is when you drink something. How delightful it is with sparkling eyes. Letting others know that this tastes delicious. Well, this morning I, I, I've come to tell you that the writer of this song, which I am in total agreement with, begins this psalm with, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, this psalm coincides with St. Matthew the 7th chapter and verse 37 which says and were beyond measure astonished saying 
He has done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Are you listening? Amen. Which means that when he says that he will bless the Lord, talked about Psalm 34 and 1, yes. at all times, that means as that nothing the Lord does is unworthy uh -huh. of praise. Amen. Nothing that the Lord has done doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth. Whatever he does, it leaves a good taste in your mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be in my mouth. Then we go down, oh, taste and see. It's an invitation. You come try it. The Lord. You can speak his goodness in, listen, listen. You can speak his goodness in the morning yes, sir. because he awakened you out of your sleep. Yeah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. He watched over us all night last night, early this morning. Yeah. Touched each of us with the thing of love. Don't you know that's a good thing? Yeah. Oh, taste and see yeah. that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord yeah. at all times. Yeah. His praise shall continually. Because why? He woke me up this morning. My eyes came open to behold another beautiful day. I didn't do it, but the Lord. That's a good thing. That's a good taste in my mouth. You can speak of his goodness between morning and noon. Because he's a keeper. Yes. You, you can speak of his goodness uh, at the noon hour. Mm -hmm. Because he kept you uh, from early morning yes. to the noon day. Yes. Yes. yes, and he put a smile on your face yes. when you sit out and eat. Oh, yeah. yes. You don't sit out and eat and don't thank the Lord for the food. Right. Don't you know that's a good thing? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. He has put food before me. Amen. I will bless the Lord bless at all times. Yes. Lord, I thank you for this food, yes. for the nourishment of my soul and body, yes. for Christ's sake. I bless you, Lord. I bless you. Yes. I bless you for this food that I'm about to eat. Yes. I'm blessing you yes. for the water I'm about to drink, yes. to fill my empty stomach, yes. to quench my thirsty soul. Yes. You can speak of his goodness at the noonday hour. You can yes. speak of his goodness uh -huh. yes. between the noon hour and the evening hour. Yes. When you're going, get off your job and you say, the Lord has kept me. Yes. The Lord brought me through this day. I can testify. He, he has put a good thing in my mouth. Yes. He's my keeper. Yes. He kept me from that tragedy when I was driving down the highway. Yes. Yes. Kept me on my job with a, a clear mind how to do my job. He, he kept me how to deal with people. The Lord is good. Yes, is. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Why don't you try him? Yes. Try him in the daytime. Get up in the morning and try him. At the noonday hour. After work, while you're going home, going from school, you can say, the Lord brought me. You can speak of his goodness between the evening hours and the midnight. He give you rest. And comfort. Yeah. You, you have a time to yeah. reminisce and think about what the Lord has done for you right. all that past yeah. day. Yeah. Lord, he put a good taste in your mouth yeah. of what he's done for you all that day. He didn't leave you that day. Yeah. Right. Amen. He didn't leave you stripless. Oh, no. Without 
strengthen your body. He didn't leave you with a bad mind. He kept you. You can speak of his goodness yes. between the evening hours and the midnight. Yes. You can you can you can speak of his goodness yes. between the midnight hours and 3 a.m. Some of you wake up in the, around that time and you awaken and the Lord will put us a, a, a thought in your mind yes. to yes. praise him for what where he's brought you from. Yes. You lay there and you think about where he healed your body. You lay there and think about the door he opened for you. you yes. 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 I will praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. His praise shall continually. It doesn't matter between 12 midnight and 3 a.m. You're still thinking about the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. This psalm is right. I will bless the Lord at all times. You can wake up thinking about the Lord. Even before you go back to sleep, you'll have he'll put you to sleep. He'll lullaby you yes. with your mind on him. Amen. Yes, between yes, he will between three a.m. in the morning and before you wake up, you can still praise him. Yes. All around the clock, yes. personally, 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 I have called on the Lord at all different times or at different events, at different times or stages of my life right, right, right. around the clock right. and he was always there. Amen. I have called on the Lord yes. for members of this church at different times yes. and the Lord heard my prayer. Yes. Don't you know that's enough to bless the Lord yes. at all times for hearing prayer? At the 3 a.m. in the morning, at 2 a.m. in the morning, at 4 a.m. in the morning, at 5 a.m., I will bless the Lord at all yes. times. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. That's an invitation to those who are possibly looking, have not tried. He's always answered. He comes through for us. Yes, what about when we traveling on the highway? Yes, right. Early in the morning, he was there. Yes. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Yes. Don't you know he was with us when we was traveling in early in the morning? Yes. Don't you know he was with us in the midday? Don't you know he was with us at midnight? Don't you? We, that's enough to praise him. I will bless the Lord. He's never too late. He's always there with us. Yes, he is. Even during the storms when we went through. We called on him. Hallelujah. The Lord brought us through storms on the highway. I will bless the Lord at all times. Why? Because he gave us testimony. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. so sick after taking that second COVID shot. So I felt like I had COVID. Mm -hmm. I got that night I got the chills. It seemed like it hit you at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, yeah. And I got the chills and had a fever and I, I said, well, I said to myself, I'm about to leave this world. Mm -hmm. But I called on him. I called on him. Yeah. All right. All right. I called on the Lord. Yeah. All right. Yes, I did. I called on him. And I fell asleep, and, and I thought I had slept all night. It was only 15, 20 minutes, and I woke up brand new. Don't you know he's a pot top? He put a good taste in my mouth. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Dr. Jesus. What the COVID shot couldn't do, Jesus did it. He made me feel well. Don't you know? Don't you know? I got testimony. 
You're my witness in uh, Salt Lake City. Yes. How sick I was. I called on him. Yes. Don't you know he put a taste, good taste in my mouth? Yes. He healed my body. Yes, yes he did. He healed my body. Yes. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. Testimony that the Lord is good. Yes. And he is worthy yes, he is. to be praised. Yes. He is. He's a prayer answering yes. God. Do you know him? Yes. Then he, got a, he put a good taste in your mouth. Yes. yes. He leaves a testimony in our mouth that he will come when you call on him. Yes. In the name of Jesus. He has left a testimony in my mouth that he's a healer. Yes, he is. Yes, he's a doctor. Yes. He has left a testimony in my mouth that he's a food. He's food in a starving land. Yes. What about you? Yes. All right. He'll put a food. Uh, he'll put food in your refrigerator. Yes. In our case, it was an ice box. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And he'll put food on your table. Yes, he will. I'm not just talking about what King David said. I, I'm talking in agreement about what the Lord has done for me. Yeah. I agree with Brother King David yes. that the Lord is good. Yes, he is. And I do invite all others, oh, taste and see. Yes. For my wife and my family and myself, he has provided for us. Yes, he, he is a provider. Yes, he is. For those who are uh, uh, going through and struggling, Oh, taste and see that the Lord, is. he'll put a testimony in your mouth yes. that he'll provide for you and your family. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes. He has been a shelter <laughs> in a oh, time. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he has. Yes. yes. We lost the home, but he was still our shelter. Yes. We had cars possessed, but we still had transportation. He made a way out of nowhere. Yes. Some don't want to uh, step out on faith, but you got to step out on faith yes. with God. He may take you down a path that you say, oh my goodness. But go walk that faith yes. path. He'll put a good taste in your mouth at the end of it. Yes, he will. It's amazing how Satan will paint a picture and make it look good. But at the end, it's a bad taste. When you do it Satan's way, so many have left the church. Some uh, had great voices. We was listening to one on our way to church this morning. She had one of the. She has one of had one of the greatest melodious voices. Get tricked into the world, money and fame. But it came to a bad end. It leaves a bad taste in our mouth when we think about the bad end that she had. God never leaves a bad taste in your mouth. When you leave the world and accept him in the parties of your sin and you believe and repent and Follow Jesus. Right. He will always put a good taste yes. in your yes. mouth. That means you'll have a testimony to tell others yes. that the Lord is good. Yes. He brought me out. The Lord put food on my table. Yes. The Lord put clothes on my back. The Lord gave me a job to provide for myself. Yes. He took me off the street as a whore and made me a housewife. Yes. Took me off the street as a pimp. Made me a pastor. Lord is good. Yes, he is. He has been a shelter. 
the time when we didn't have a home. I'm not just talking about a storm of wind and rain, but I, I and an economic uh, storm. I'm not just talking about the storms of needing food. And we we didn't have much money at that time, but we didn't have a bank account. Just food on the table and and a refrigerator full of food. Automobile for transportation. He 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 provided for us all. As the scripture said in St. Mark the seventh chapter, verse 37, he has done all things well. When you give your life to him, when you depend on Jesus, and when you walk by faith, he will put a good taste in your mouth. He will open up doors for you where you can have a testimony. I've been there where you were. The Lord opened the door for me. The Lord put food on my table. The Lord put clothes on my back. The Lord is a good God to me. All you can say is the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see. That's an invitation to all those who are struggling. Try the Lord. He'll put a good taste in your mouth. King David the psalmist in saying I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I can't say anything bad about the Lord. He's been too good to me. I've called on him all sorts of times. And he's came to my rescue. He may not come right there, yes. but he'll come. Yes, he will. Heal your body. Yes. He'll come. Yes. Put food on your table. Yes, he will. Oh, taste and see yes. that the Lord is good. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Yes. I can see. I can sing along with King David uh -huh. in saying, why don't you, why don't you try it? Why don't you try it? Oh, oh, taste and see for yourself yes. that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see. He's good in the morning. Yes, he is. He, wake, he awakens out of us, us out of our sleep. He guides us through the day. Yes. The Lord will answer your prayers. Just call on him in the name of Jesus. All right, all right. The Lord will heal your body. Yes, he will, brother. Yes, Just call on him. He'll be there. May not come when you want him, but he'll be there. He's better than all the doctors put together. Yes. Yes. Lord will save your soul. Yes. All you have to do is just believe, repent, and be baptized. Yes. He'll change your darkness. I'm just not talking about your not seeing how to pay your bills, but he'll change your darkness to see how lost we are, how much we need him. Not only are we sinners, but we're saints saved by grace. We're sinners saved by grace. Yes. The troubling mind that follows us, he will put a, he'll give you a new mind. Yes, yes, yes. He'll regulate your mind. Yes. Where you can say, I know the Lord. Oh, yes. We'll make a way. Yes, he will. Somehow. Yes, he will. When you don't have the answer, and uh, you fall on your knees and say, Lord, I need your answer. Yes. Yes. 
just like this past week, I was praying and fasting. Lord, I don't know how uh, to adequately answer these questions that will be asked. To far to go out. I don't know how. I need your Holy Spirit to guide my mind. I pray that your Holy Spirit would be among us and with us. And don't you know the Lord here and answer our prayer? Yes. yes, and left a good taste in our mouth when we left that. The testimony that I heard this morning. Yes. Oh, taste and see. Yes. The Lord will give you a testimony yes, he that he's will. there. Yes. And when, you, when he's there, he leaves a good taste yes. in your mouth. Just call. Just call. Just call on him. He'll open up doors that have been closed in your face. Then you can say to others, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. He opened the door that was shut in my face. He'll shine light on your dark pathway when you're troubled in mind. Yes, to let you know, go this way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Lord will guide you. Yes, he will. The Lord will put a light on your pathway. Yes, he will. He will. The Lord will guide you through darkness. Yes. I'm just not talking about when the light will turn out. I'm talking about the darkness of trouble. Yes. 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 When you can't see your way, yes. you can say, the Lord is my light. Yes. That's a good testimony yes. to let others know he's a God. Yes. Yes. Through your dark troubles of life. Oh, taste and see. Uh -huh. He'll give you a testimony that he is your help and strength. Yes, he is. Yes. Right. Yes, he is. We're so weak, but he comes yes. when you're having corporate meetings. Right. He'll come in the classroom when your mind is all yes. befuddled. Yes. Don't know how to answer the questions. He'll come on your job. Yes. When things are challenging, and he'll say, do it this way. The Holy Ghost will guide you and say, do it that way. And then when you do it and it comes becomes successful, he's going to be successful. You're going to be successful because he's going to guide you. When you come out of that, you say, oh, I know the Lord is good. Oh, the Lord is good. He got you for the testimony. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, taste and see. He's been good. He, he, don't, he don't stay with a person that's not good. No, no, no. When you are fighting him, he can't lead you. You're leading yourself into badness. God have never led anybody into wine and alcohol to become alcoholics no, no. and drug addicts. No. That's the trick of the devil. Yes. Right, right. That's right. And all it leaves is a bad taste and bad memories right. and bad uh, testimonies how you went down the wrong road. Right. But when you come to Jesus, yes. all right. yes. taste and see. When you come to him, he will clean you up yes. from your addiction. He will clean you up from your fornication. He will clean you up from your homosexuality. Yes. He will clean you up from your adulterous yes, mind. Yes, and then you can say, I was there one time, but all oh, the Lord is good. Yes, he will give you a different mind. Holy, 
church. You may take your seat. If not, four o'clock. The Lord is good to me. I can talk about him because he's brought me over these 70 some years. He's still with me, children. He brought me out of the womb. Before I was born, the Lord brought me. I can tell you right now, the Lord is good. Yes, he is. My late pastor told me, he said before I was born, he prophetically saw what was taking place before I was born. He said that there was a separation between my father and my mother. They was married. My mother was in St. Louis and my father was still in Texas. And uh, she was pregnant with me. And my aunt, who had a bad experience with, now just don't think the woke situation just started. My, my, my aunt had a bad situation with her husband. She had a bad marriage. And that's, that was back in 1940-something. So just don't think the woke just started. She tried to get my mother, she said, uh, like the woman who told Solomon uh, split the baby. Right. Split the baby. Don't let it be hers nor mine. Right. My aunt, she was so upset with a man. Get an abortion. Get an abortion. And my mother, she, my uh, my my uh, aunt had raised. She was the oldest child of, of thirteen, oldest uh, daughter, or female of thirteen. Uncle Finest was the oldest child of 13 children. She was the, my mother was the baby, uh -huh. the youngest, the baby, well, whatever. And she wrote back to my grandfather. And she said, now, Pastor Anderson already has seen this. And I went to my mother, I said, what happened? And she began to tell me the story. And she said that I wrote back to Papa. That's what they call yeah. Papa and Mama. And he said, she said, Papa, she wrote back and said, what should I do? And my grandfather, guided by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. this is before I was born in the womb. And remember what Jeremiah said. Yeah, right. Before I formed thee. Yes. What I knew yes. thee. Yes. And my grand grandfather Wilson wrote back and said, Jewel, not this jewel. <laughs> yeah. Jewel Thompson Scott. Jewel, have your baby. This is why God put you here. Yes, sir. God right. put you here. Yes, God put you here. Yes, right. Now here I am, over 70 some years here. Yes. God put me here yes. to talk about his goodness. Yes. Before I was ever born, God put me here to say he's a keeper yes, over these many years before I was ever born. Yes. God has kept me. Yes. God has fed me. Yes. God has strengthened me. Yes. He called me to preach his word. Yes. He chose me to preach Jesus. Yes. And I'm glad about it. Yes. I'm going to tell it yes. until the day I'm gone out of this world. Yes. I'm going to tell it. Oh, taste and see that the Lord yes. is good. Yes. He brought us from St. John, over 20, going on 20 years, the Lord is good. 
Yes. He allowed us to pay off an eight hundred and twenty-one thousand dollar loan. Yes. Old taste and see yes. that the Lord is good. Yes. He was our judge and lawyer in the courtroom, yes. and the judge threw the case out against us. Old taste and see yes. that the Lord is good. Yes. He's a judge. Yes. He's our lawyer. He was our financier. Old yes. taste and see. You good, God. In the name of Jesus. Do you know it? Yes. Have you tried it? Try it. In the morning, he's good. Call on him at the noonday hour. He's good. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on Calvary for my sin. You paid the price. You paid the price. But you didn't stay dead. You got up. Yes, you did on a Sunday morning for justification. Yeah, I'm good before God in you, Jesus.